This video has been sponsored by Solder Stick. More on that at the end. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today I'm taking a look at this little Arduino Nano clone that I bought off of Timu for, oh, I think, like $3. And the reason I bought it was because it has a uh, USB C interface. And I'm trying to get everything to single USB interfaces. So I thought I would write a program that would test the input and the output, you know, a little bit of computational. So over here I've got a 555 timer, and you can see it's just blinking this. Follow this blue output line from the 555 timer. Comes over to here, and what it is doing, it is acting as an input for this binary counter, 8-bit binary counter. I mean, there, there's nothing terribly exciting here. But as, as I'm running this program, I'm noticing I'm, I'm getting a bit that's not lighting, and I'm thinking, uh-oh. Does my super cheap uh, Arduino Nano knockoff have a, a, a bad pin or a bad joint or something? So I figured I'd do some sort of little experiment and see if I could... Uh, you know, just access the different pins and whatnot and see if it's going to work better. This is the one that seems to be not working. And it is attached to pin number D3. So, take that off of there. And I'm going to pop this off the board and put it over there. Alright, so here is my new tester program. You can see we have, the, we have our Nano here. This is a uh, tri-color self-flashing LED that this part of the program is currently not working. And then I just have four blue LEDs, four green LEDs, and they're just doing, you know, little four next loop, just lighting the next one in sequence. Then I also have over here this little LED that I can control the brightness of. And what that's doing is it is letting me, if you follow this yellow line here, comes over to analog zero, and that's letting me know that uh, the analog pins are reading inputs. However, when I press this button, uh, D13 here should be lighting up, and it's not. I know the LED is good. I've already tested it. So I'm still working to figure out what's going on there. But, you know, other than that, everything... On the super cheap uh, Nano seems to be working good. Let me pop it off the board here and we'll take uh, a closer look at it. So here it is and you know it's just a standard Nano clone. You have your Atmega 328p chip here and that is a, a 16 megahertz chip. We've got a, a CH340 here on the bottom, which is our USB controller. There's our voltage regulator. You see, they, you know, for the price, they've really done this nice. Three dollars and eighty-eight cents is what I paid for this. And we'll go over to the computer here and take a look. One of the really neat or uh, interesting things I found about this is that the USB-C version of this is actually cheaper than the mini and micro USB version. This was 388. The micro USB was um, 498 and the mini USB was like 529. I remember you could buy these for $1.99 a piece. But anyway, it, like I said, it's a uh, it looks really good. I don't have any complaints with it and everything seems to work. It's even got the ARF pins in here and on the thistle focus. Yeah. You can see we've got our LEDs there right next to the ARF pins, receive, transmit, power, and then the pin 13 LED. Yeah. It is all looking really good. There's no um, there's no blob soldering or anything. This is obviously wave soldered, but uh, yeah, they've done a really, really nice job. Let's hop over to the computer and take a look so I can show you this. Well, we look at that. It was 388, like... A month ago when I ordered it and now it is 482 
but that is the type c if you go with a micro usb 598 holy crap mini usb 482 micro usb unwelded same price micro usb with cable USB unwelded. i'm just looking at these prices yeah that is okay 388 was for the unwelded so they No, I paid 388 for the welded one. I know I did. Either way, it's still a good deal. They're under five dollars. No problems with them whatsoever. Okay, so here is an Elecro, which is another brand, another uh, you know, Arduino clone. This one uses the USB Mini, but I just wanted to show you that um, size-wise, I mean, yeah, these things are virtually identical obviously there's some sort of a there's some sort of template all these manufacturers are using to manufacture these because they all look exactly alike or they're all coming from the exact same factory either one of those is a distinct possibility but uh yeah okay there's no see that one has silk screen there's no silk screen here so they're probably not made in the same factory well, they could be different lines. Who knows? What do I know? I'm just guessing here. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'll put a link to it down below if you guys are uh, needing some new nanos for your projects. You know, electrically, this is the same as the Uno R3. This is the exact same chip. The only difference here is um, they put it onto a smaller form factor. So... All the PWM pins match up. Current ratings are all the same. Just a different form factor. And I find these are a lot easier to, you know, get into a, uh, a project that you're working with. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching this. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation. waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits spade connector kits which if you work on cars or boats you know how useful they will be and the same goes for ring connectors when you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt this is simply the way to do it solder stick remember them for all of your wire connection needs there's a link down below for a discount